The story of climate change starts not here, not here, but here. You see, life is full of cycles. Plants flower and fall, water rains and rises, Earth spins and spins, and as you may have guessed, CO2 is cycled. The Earth has CO2, but it's either here or there. It is never anywhere else. So CO2 always goes somewhere, which is usually deep under or in trees. This was how it was for millions of years until, out of nowhere, some apes started banging the trees! And this is concerning because trees are about 50% carbon, so now all that CO2 is going from here to there. Fast forward some centuries and Europe's forests are practically gone, even though all they had were some sharp metal on sticks. And the next thing you know it, people found more trees over the ocean. If you think about it, the largest genocides humans ever caused was against trees. Soon enough though, things started to speed up. People were getting civilized and the industrial revolution occurred where people were burning coal. And this is funny because coal is basically the dead buried corpses of trees. Of course, things were about to get much worse. Factories popped up everywhere and the sky turned gray. In America, this was great. Slaves mined the coal, they heated up the steam, that powered the mills, that made the shirts that the slave could then wear. Society! Get out of the way, Great Britain. America has taken the wheel. Coal is nice, but what about natural gas? Who needs to burn rocks when you could burn air? But rocks and air are hard to move. What about burning water, oil, earth, air, water, fire? More CO2, more and more. With carbon emissions, we can make even more things. We can make modern society.